To describe the work that FEMA has done in 2020, I liken us to an orchestra conductor. When the president asked the administrator for FEMA to take the lead in coordinating the government response to COVID-19, our job was to make sure that all of the different pieces of government were working together to a common goal and a common cause, which was to protect the American people. I would, I would use the words um, challenging, innovative, and uh, perseverance because I believe that across the agency, we were all challenged in so many different and new ways. 2020 has brought uh, the opportunity for a lot more communication, a lot more open dialogue, which has been positive uh, in my view. So three words for the year 2020. Let me first start with unprecedented. While we say that a lot at FEMA, that's an unprecedented year, an unprecedented event, this is truly an unprecedented year. Another word we use at FEMA a lot is flexible. We need to be able to be flexible and able to do our job. But this year we've truly been flexible in performing our mission and helping people both before, during, and after disaster. And the last word is willpower. We've shown that we have the willpower to be able to do those things during unprecedented times. 2020 in itself uh, brought out the best in people. It highlighted the agency's ability to be adaptive and flexible uh, while maintaining uh, the true understanding of emergency management. Uh, and I think it, it really, it, it hardened our staff in a way that we have become experienced, but softened us in the way that we've become compassionate uh, towards each other. The FEMA team has really gone above and beyond in serving the American people this year. It, it is humbling to uh, see just how much our employees have been able to accomplish against a lot of odds. The three words I used to describe 2020 would be amazing. Unbelievable all the things that happened. We had the biggest hurricane season in the history of our country that we had to respond to. We had the largest wildfire season that we've ever had with three of the largest wildfires ever recorded in the United States. We add to that uh, earthquakes that we had, several major earthquakes, and then over and above all of that, this thing called COVID that uh, changed all of our lives in so many different ways. 2020 has been an extraordinary year. FEMA has a huge role in performing national security and disaster response and community-based preparation. I think the biggest thing that we've learned, whether it's an OPR or anywhere else in FEMA, is that we really need to be flexible. And so um, I know for personally for my office, um, we've had to change some of the, the way that we do business. And so while ideally we like to be able to sit across a table from, from um, an, in, an individual that we're interviewing, we've had to adapt to using Microsoft Teams or using Zoom. I'm so proud uh, of our staff uh, and our agency and how we've uh, addressed this year. Uh, we began uh, with an earthquake that affected uh, Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. Uh, and as we exit hurricane season uh, and go into the winter months, we will be affected by winter storms. And throughout the whole year, all of these months of this year, uh, our staff uh, has been remarkable. Nothing short of remarkable. 2020, by every stretch of the definition of the word, has been absolutely unprecedented. Um, we're probably on the verge of overusing that phrase. Um, but, uh, but nothing else encapsulates what we have witnessed. 2020 was a year where thousands of FEMA employees responded across the country, not just to COVID, but to floods, fires, hurricanes, and tornadoes. And they did that with the threat of catching a potentially deadly uh, and highly contagious infectious disease. And they did it without hesitation. And for that, not only do I as a FEMA leader owe them a debt of gratitude, uh, but the entire nation owes each FEMA employee a thank you for what they did this year to help 